Hey guys, I'm Rachel Cruz. I'm George Camel. And this is Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Hour. Cheers, George. Cheers. A bright drink for a bright day. Wow. You're very positive today. <laughs> oh, that's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. So this is the show where two friends who happen to be money experts talk about what you're talking about. Everything from pop culture, current events, and money. And what are people talking about? Yeah, well, today we're talking about the ridiculous things people are spending their money on. That's right. And uh, the guy who spends hundreds of dollars a month on the literal animals living inside his house and the female who seriously considered $1,000 Taylor Swift tickets, we're going to judge you all for the ridiculous things you spend your money on. I know. It's hard, though. There's a lot... There's a lot of things in the world. Well, everything is so subjective. That's what I was going to say. It's very, you kind of, you have your own opinions, people. So we're going to just dive into it all. Oh, boy. Because we both like to spend and enjoy the quote unquote finer things in life. That's right. But some of it might be ridiculous and some things you spend money on are ridiculous. So we're going to talk about it all. So we're breaking down popular trends right now that we can't believe people are actually buying into, literally. They're uh, buying into it, Rachel. Literally. And we're going to expose some of the listeners' hot takes. Yes. They su- they submitted some to your Instagram. And it's going to be great. I can't wait. Juicy. But we are uh, sipping on a great cocktail on this episode. Some might say this cocktail is the bee's knees. Because it is. Because it's literally called the bee's knees. That, it's that's great. Why. It's really good. We're going to reveal the rating, the recipe, and the cost per glass at the end of the episode. So stick around till the end. Can we just give uh, our resident bartender, Michael Reddish... Props on this one. On all of the fruit carvings that come with the drinks. It really adds a lot. People think you don't need to do the extras with the fruit. <laughs> fruit carvings. Is that what it's called? <laughs> the peel? The fruit peel carvings? They're like garnishes. The, the garnish. garnish. Mm-hmm. Well, but to me, it. it's a fruit I peel it's, that it is, is on a, the side of my glass. It's carved. I, I hope you know I'm going to call it that for now. Um, I love your fruit carvings. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really good. So stick around till the end to find out more about this drink. That's All right, right, Rachel, before we uh, slip on our favorite pair of judgment jeans, mine are skinny, <laughs> let's share with the people a few things that we might be guilty of overpaying for. Because I, th- I think it's, we should be vulnerable with the people. Okay. Um, are you Overpaying ready? for? Maybe. I mean, on a consistent basis, I think I overpay for, I know I overpay for groceries because I get them delivered. Through a service. And you're okay paying Instacart, a little premium for that. And, and you pay more for the food. Like yeah. the actual food items are marked up and then you pay for the membership and you pay for the tip. All, like it's just ridiculous. That's but fair. I choose to do that. Um, you want to know a really bougie thing? People are going to get mad. They I saw, can't be mad. I saw they have no YouTube, right to be mad. Well, number one, can I, can I uh, do a quick like flyover of a past episode that I saw comments on? Yes. Before I get to this. People were mad at me at the middle class episode we did. And they're like, Rachel grew up in a $5 million home in Franklin. The fact that she thinks she's middle class. I did not grow up in that home. They moved in that home when I went to college. So Dave and Sharon Ramsey end up living their best life when I'm gone. When I was in middle school and high school, I grew up with cheap parents. You were on the cusp of bougie. You just missed out. Oh, Dan. Yes. My brother. We could call him bougie growing up. Yeah. I will defend my middle class status. So people are like, oh my God, her dad's a billionaire. I was born when they were bankrupt. Like, we didn't just like overnight become like. They don't get to redefine your childhood. <laughs> no, they don't, George. So they, I just want to say that. I'm with and, like, you. It, we stand with it, Rachel. <laughs> we fight. <laughs> Golly. So I'm just going to say that, that I still stand, well, that I did not live the bougie lifestyle that they live today. So I'm going to just. Say that. I'm glad that you got that off your chest. Because what I'm about to say is very bougie. <laughs> so now. With that caveat. Okay. So when we bought our home, when we built our home, moved in in 2019, there were a couple of things that we had to take out of the plan because it was over budget. But there were a couple of things we kept. And one of the things that I we kept in, uh, and we have to get it refilled probably once a month in the summer, is we have a mosquito system at our house. And now people are going to get mad because they're like, you're poisoning everyone around you. Uh, so No, probably. I think we can all agree mosquitoes should die. Yes. So it's a system that lines our back roof line yeah. and our fence line, and it sprays twice a day and, like, kills Not mosquitoes. Not a single mosquito in your backyard. Kills the, mos- kills the mosquitoes. And it works? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's like up a tree, like we have a court, like all this. So wow. again, very bougie. And they have to refill the tanks in the summer to like 
the stuff. So we pay for that in the summer, and it feels silly. And people would go like, "That's ridiculous to spend." Why would you? Yeah, just get yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, it's bougie, but we do that. That's good. I love that. But I love it. That's because I don't get bit. They love me. The old mosquitoes. And you, you like clothes. People would say like it's ridiculous that Rachel spends this much money, but no, you have I don't a lot of like say- Target and Amazon. You have some nicer stuff. Yeah, I don't think what I spend on clothes is ridiculous. I don't spend that much on clothes. Okay. I shop a lot, but it's like my do- yeah. I mean, I get like the sixty percent. Well, I saw sale. you post from the beach, and you're like, everything I'm wearing is from Amazon. It is. I know everything. Like my whole thing get up was like maybe under a hundred dollars. Way to go. From like beach bag cover up. Swimsuit, sunglasses, earrings, all of it. That's impressive. That's what I'm saying. I don't spend that much. People, so I spend it on mosquitoes. I'm very <laughs> selfless. The money I spend is on my dogs, Rachel. So, oh, how much do you? What is that? Give I me mean, a, between, you don't have to give me a dollar amount. If you we don't just want, tried, but. we just tried mobile dog grooming, so we don't have to mm. take them to Petco and traumatize them. Now that's because my dog bougie. will shake with anxiety. Your dog is a short haired dog. Well, it's for the bath. We're not getting haircuts done. It's the bath. <laughs> it's great. You know, nail trimmings, the bath. They're cleaning parts I don't want to clean. All that stuff. I have a guys that mow my lawn, things like that. People are like, that's yep. ridiculous. Just mow your own lawn. I'm a fan of convenience. And yeah. we're at the place financially where we just decide what's convenient for us and then we do it. Because here's the, the deal. Budget. There's no shame in spending. That's part of the Ramsey plan is you live like no one else. So later you can live and give like no one else. So the idea of spending money when you are being intentional, it's in the budget. It's in the every dollar budget. You have line items. You know where your money's going. You're planning it. You're still investing and being generous. You're doing all the things. You can enjoy your money. And there's a lot of things that everyone would go, that's weird. Why would you spend that money? But if you like it, it's fine. As long as it's not making you broke yep. and hurting your life, your relationships, you do you. If you want the Lego set, you want the Harry Potter collection, <laughs> you want the American Girl doll oh, yeah. house set. I don't know what you're into, Lindsay. <laughs> I love me some very cool doll. I'm just saying, we all have our thing. going into my house and there's just like, oh, it's so scary. It's Very so creepy. Scary. Your doll collection. I'd be like, Jordan, please help I her. don't want to be that You're right. person. I do have a problem with grown adults with doll collections. I draw yeah, the line. Yeah, you basically just told everyone that's what I am, but I'm not. <laughs> this I was, I was saying, for example, if Lindsay happened to be into that, no judgment. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank I just you. don't want to go to your house if that's the case, which I've been to your house. Yeah, you don't and have I a don't weird, have a doll collection. No just weird doll collection. A little, just a little creepy. <laughs> okay. Enough uh, about us, Rachel. Yeah, let's go to the people. So selfish. Let's go to the people and all the ridiculous stuff that people These are funny. tend to spend money on. Are we on. moving into tinted eyelash territory? <laughs> I think Is that where we're going? I think we're happening. Yep. But, you know, George, you're going to be a girl dad, so get ready. You're going to learn all this stuff. She will stuff. not have tinted lashes. I can promise you that. <laughs> Okay, but here's some, what people would say is ridiculous, is spending money on natural resources. Are you ready for this? What do you mean a natural resource? (gasps) Oxygen. So there are oxygen bars, like in nightclubs and casinos and shopping malls. So apparently if purified oxygen, when administered into the nostrils through a tube while you're sitting at a bar stool. Okay. Why a bar stool specifically? We're not sure. It's what (laughs) the website says. (laughs) All right. So apparently the natural air we breathe contains around 21% of oxygen. But when you get pure oxygen, it reduces stress, boosts energy, and relieves hangovers. Sure. How do we know it's 21% oxygen? Who's measuring? Scientists. I doubt it. (laughs) This feels like made up stuff. Well, I don't know. People are paying for oxygen. All of these wellness trends, they have not been scientifically vetted and they're all marketed as like, it reduces stress and boosts energy by a thousand percent. It's all a lie. Like you could argue that most candy bars do the same thing. I don't know. I don't know, George. I mean, a Red Bull vodka will reduce stress oh and gosh. increase your energy. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, water is also a natural resource that people, people spend pay money for on. That. So Electrolyte electri- water. Yeah. You seen that one? Well, yeah. People are like they they the water thing is that's a little hard. It's a, it's a. Um, it's confusing to me because you can get people with like really hardcore convictions about their water. Like your water out of your tap water. It's like, oh my gosh, no, it has so many chemicals and all this stuff. So people get purified water. People go pick up water from water stores. Like There's when, a water store? Yes, George, that has pure water. <laughs> like spring water? I don't know. I, okay. I feel ignorant even talking about it because I'm sure people watching I've or done listening my due will know this. But Because I, I almost fell for the trend of pH water. There were people from the company that would go to the, it's a It's a store like in Franklin here, and okay. it's a water store. And they go and they get their like tanks of water from it. And that's the only water that they use because water in our sinks and stuff like will kill you. 
Got it. Okay. <laughs> that explains why people have survived from tap water for <laughs> years. But I will I say that when the marketing for water is out of control, because now there's all this pH water. Have you seen this? It's like, it's a seven plus. It's balanced pH. Yes. And then I found out your body adjusts the pH as you oh, digest it. Oh, wow. That's so a scam. So that's a scam. What a scam. And water already has electrolytes in it. <sighs> so while you can add it like Gatorade, you know. Yes. It's, anyways, there's a lot. What now, I'm doing? a sucker for sparkling water. So I will, we pay a lot just for sparkling water. We probably drink, you know, three or four a day What's between your, my like, wife and I. Topo Chico, what do you do? Topo Chico is great. LaCroix, Waterloo, Spindrift. Mm -hmm. Those are the go-tos. Liquid Death, another go-to. Okay, it's good. Yeah. Uh, another one is just fancy grocery stores. So like, yes. instead of going to like a Kroger, you go to a Whole Foods. Have or you heard about the one beyond Whole Foods called Airwan? It's no. like the L.A. version of Whole Foods, and it makes Whole Foods look like a Kroger. Stop it. It is insane. Give me all the details. What is it? So uh, there's a viral TikToker who will buy everyday <laughs> ingredients from Air One, like, I'm going to make a peanut butter and jelly. What? And then they spend like $1,000 <laughs> yeah. on the ingredients to make this outrageous PB&J. Uh, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, are real people shopping there, or is it like a flex from celebrities? I don't understand. I don't know. All of those just intimidate me. That's why I do everything online because it just makes me all nervous. When I walk into a place like that, it just makes me like, I don't know you what get I'm uncomfortable. doing. uncomfortable. Well, I just don't know what I'm doing. I, uh, I feel very out of place. Like, but you've been put, to a Whole put Foods. Put me in a Kroger. Would you shop at a Whole Foods? Uh, I enjoy a Whole Foods experience, but I only buy stuff on sale and I buy like four things. I know. It That's just, all my, it just makes me, I don't feel comfortable there. If they're not your people. Tomato's a tomato, whether it's from Kroger or Whole Foods. People are going to yell at you for that. So I know. Ready. Well, the pesticides and it's not organic. Relax. They have organic fruit at Kroger. Okay, experience eating. Go to the next one. So like the melting pot. We mentioned this on one of our episodes. Oh, this was the destination for high school prom group yeah. in 2007. <laughs> That's a very specific core oh memory. Oh my gosh. But you got to like cook your own food and stuff. Um, oh yeah. Have you okay, been to Funky Griddle? No. That's uh -uh. where you cook your own food, like pancakes okay. and eggs and all that at the table. And hibachi, same kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to say this about, I mean, this isn't the same as that category, but I we went to a really nice restaurant in Nashville, and it was one of those, it's like the 10-course chef. Oh. Exclude, like, right? It's that feeling. And you pay out the wazoo for these things. I think I've just decided, Joel, I don't think it's worth it. I think you go to a nice steakhouse that. three different times for the price that we paid for this like meal. So I'm kind of over. And you're like kind of a foodie. It's I do not enjoy. Like yeah, like, I don't understand why. They and I get do there's this. an art and like a like it's beautiful and and there's a talent there for sure. But for me right now in life, I'm like I think I'd rather go to a nice steakhouse three different times for the same price that I paid for that experience. Yeah. Plus, I don't know. have you tried pizza? <laughs> you, it's affordable and you delicious. Papa John's banana pepper pepperoni <laughs> change your life. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, there was a new hibachi restaurant I tried with robots. That's Stop experience. Stop it. Stop it. It's, really? it's here locally. Stop it. And robots will no. show up at your hibachi table. No. With like your suit. If you order a, a sushi dish. Is this dish. the future? We're in the future. And Where? then you hit a button. You Where take the it? dish. It's in right here in Franklin. And you take the dish, and then you hit send to kitchen, and the robot goes no. back to its home. No. What's it called? What's it called? Uh, Takumi? Takumi. Y'all, wow. that's nuts. We checked it out. Next up on ridiculous things people spend money on, strollers. I know. How do I know this? Because we're stroller shopping, Rachel. Okay, we tell me it's all the brands. Payment. Give me all the things. I know, George. I'll tell you the one I want, and it feels <gasps> exorbitant. What is it? The Uppa Baby. Yes! V2 Vista double stroller with the bassinet, and then it, there you have to get like 17 dongles to attach I the know, cup George, holder. It, can I tell you, after three kids and eight years later, it has it, it is as strong as ever. It's the fundamentally quality changed your life. is unbelievable. Mark Carsey went through five kids, my three, and then my sister in law, her two babies. Wow. She got, and it was great, like it's. The quality's unbelievable. A ringing endorsement for the thousand dollars. No, it is. Stroller. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But but then it can go into a three kid stroller. You got this, so you got your rumble seat oh, ready for the rumble seat. See, I don't even know what a rumble seat. And then was. another seat for the two, and then you get the skateboard thing attached at the bottom where a kid can stand in between the poles, and you go. Okay, and you got that's all dope. three. As a former skateboarder, I'm here for that content. I know. So honestly, you're saying it's worth it. The thousand dollar stroller worth the investment, especially if you're gonna have multiple kids. If it's one and done, maybe not. 
right? Okay. But like it when will I was last. a kid, we just had the little dinky, like ten dollars. You'll have an umbrella Walmart stroller, stroller too, and that one you don't need from up a baby. What is so, an umbrella stroller? Oh, the umbrella stroller—it's the quick, like pop out stroller. Like but you're talking no, about—is there an umbrella on top of it? Uh, it has like the thing over. Yeah. Oh, see, so they called an umbrella stroller. I'm talking about the little rinky dink ones. That's an, yes, I hear you. I hear you. I didn't have a fancy top to mine. Well, I was unencumbered. Okay. Well, this well umbrella strollers these days have it, but like up a baby has an umbrella stroller. You don't need to pay that much for an up a baby umbrella stroller. You can get one from like. Bye bye. You know, you can get a cheaper version of that because well, you'll be. No, the bye bye, baby went bye bye. Bye bye. I know. That's I so didn't sad. See that terrible. So okay. don't don't invest the umbrella stroller in a nice quality one. You don't need that. But okay. your big nice one that that she's going to be using. We're hoping Whitney's someone gives it to us from the registry. Hint hint. Jeez. To like, anyone in the room a, or watching. That was such a flex. That was everyone's really, like, we're kind of waiting. Like, hey, let's help George. We're like out. fingers crossed. Like someone's like, let's go in on the big on the. Oh stroller. yeah, they're thinking it right now, George. You know. Good Anyways, okay. Next up on things that are ridiculous, and I stand by this one. This is a just fundamentally, sub- objectively stupid purchase. Lifted vehicles. <laughs> Explain to me the lifted truck, Rachel. You're someone who would be apt to get a lifted truck. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? You're is it the me. feeling of power and control? I mean, what is the I actual... I, I don't know. I really don't. I don't get it. Are they off-roading in like seven feet of water? I'm okay, just... here's the question. If you had to... If you had... If your car either had to be lifted or low-rided, what would you do? Probably low-rided based on my height alone. I don't want to catapult <laughs> into the driver's seat. How do you get up there? You need a tiny ladder. Yeah, I don't get it. And I don't get the bit... Yeah, I mean, Winston has a truck, but it's a... It's a Toyota Tundra. Like, I mean, it's a pretty, like, classic truck. But yeah. I don't get the big, loud wheel, like what you're saying. Yeah. I just don't get it. I, I'm with you, George. Well, your dad, Dave, loves a I don't roaring, get it. That's big, what I'm saying. I scary, don't get mean it. truck. I don't get it. Okay. It didn't run in the gene pool for you. N- no. We drive a similar it's vehicle, fine. so it— Yeah, we probably have similar thoughts on vehicles. We, we love a sedan. We just <laughs> love a good electric car. I'm not trying to impress anyone. Oh my gosh. But these okay. car lift kits, they can run like from anywhere from a thousand to four thousand dollars. Yeah. But again, if that's your thing, if that's your thing, get do therapy. It. But yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Therapy's cheaper. Therapy's Just saying. cheaper. Dealing okay, with next, childhood so you're ready for this. This is mine. Okay. Designer sunglasses. Oh, once you're you're you saying it's break ridiculous a pair, to spend the money. Once you break a pair, sit on them, lose them in the lake. You never come back from that trauma, George. It is real and deep. So you're saying no to the Ray-Bans. Yeah. I do have – I have one – I say that. I have one pair of, like, aviator ones that I actually have had nice. for a while. All my other ones are Amazon. Next one, very controversial, marathons. <laughs> what? <laughs> marathons. Think about it. Okay. People spend a lot of money on the running gear, on the fee, which – Suffice it to say, a lot of times goes to a great cause. Nonprofits are putting these marathons on, but they can get pretty expensive. Mm. I don't know that world. I trained for a half marathon. For like, How'd it go? I trained for about a week. But I'm like, you can run for free. So what are we really doing this for? You know what I mean? I just think you should run because you want to run. But I don't know the whole like doing it for like biting the medal and doing it for the photo. It feels like a little bit of a flex. Mm. Yeah, when people have the stickers, like 26.4. Yeah. Here's what I always ask, Rachel. What are they running from? 26.2. What are they running from? (laughs) I think therapy's cheaper than most of these and would actually solve the root problem. Therapy's got expensive. I don't know what your bill is. That's fair. Still cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay, last but not least. Ready? The Mm -hmm. KitchenAid mixer. Ooh. This was a staple for every... Every grown up, every wedding registry, all of it. And I got a yellow one. Are you one. even married if you don't own a KitchenAid? I know, I know. The KitchenAid mixer. And they're expensive. You've got a yellow they're one like at home? They're like 300. Mm-hmm. Do you use it? Um, I mean, maybe like four times a year. Yeah, I can count You know on what? One we finger. do use kitchen appliance uh, Vitamix. Oh. We use that a lot. What are you blending up at the cruise household? We're doing, we do smoothies. Okay. The kids love smoothies. Uh, I'll do a salsa, like a homemade salsa, and Ooh. I'll put it in. Like I do, I I use my Vitamix a lot. I do want a Vitamix. It feels like again, a kind of a ridiculous. Like, why are you buying a four hundred dollar blender? Blender, I know, but I do use that one. KitchenAid it's mixer. It's like the Peloton of of blenders. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. Do you have a Peloton? I used to. <gasps> again, a ridiculous purchase that I then what? sold. It's okay. That was the height of COVID, though. Yes, we got it during COVID. Everyone was on doing the Peloton. Trend, yep. Is sold. it gone now? Or like the trend? No, people still use them. I think the real people who are like, I'm going to use this, 
still have them. Yeah. The people who did it to like ride a trend and be like, I'm going to be the guy who works out at home. Those people didn't survive. <laughs> you had to have already been working out beforehand to make this To make it make happen. Sense. To make it happen. But yeah, we've got yeah. a KitchenAid. We've got the matte white. Like it looks like kind of like a little stormtrooper. It's really oh, cute. That's Again, cool. it's decor. It sits in the corner of the kitchen. We're not baking up a lot of, you know, brownies these days. Oh, for the kitchen mixer. I know. We get the gluten-free cookies that are the ready bake and we avoid and all happy. of them. I the get mess. it. I get it. I know. It's a lot to clean. It's a lot. There's a lot. All right, George. So those were some of our ideas of like, yeah, just some crazy stuff. And people may not there. think those are ridiculous. No, we just, but it's fine. Here's a list. We're no mad. But they told us, didn't they? Yes. So via my Instagram, they gave us some great ones. And the first one hurts my heart, but I'm going to just take it. Um, food delivery. A ton of people said that. Said this is a ridiculous thing to spend yes, money on. Yes, and I know. I know. I know. They're like, Rachel, you can drive to the restaurant and just pick it up and save it. A lot I know. of money. Okay, groceries is one thing. I will say we ordered um, like tzatzikis or something to the house and did like to, like DoorDash. Usually, I, usually I do pick up food. Like if we're, I usually get it to go, and we did deliver it, and it was it was stupid. I mean, I want to say price? it was like eighty or ninety dollars, George, for wow. us, like for just and our it family. Would have been how much if you just picked it up? Like fifty? Yeah, 60? forty-five, fifty. I mean, I swear okay. they mocked it up. They marked it up so much. Wow. And again, I think it's probably DoorDash and the tipping. I mean, all of it. But when I got the bill, I was like, holy crap. So that, yeah. it was I don't crazy. know if it's like the Middle Eastern frugal in me, but I can count on two fingers how many times I've used Uber Eats or DoorDash. I know. Because of how much it hurts my heart. I know. And sometimes you just, you got to do it. I recommend it as pinch, a way to make money for people who want to, you know, get out of sure. debt or whatever. But I don't use it personally because of how exorbitant it is. No. So unless it's in a, like an emergency situation, Grocery delivery, or I'm just going to pick it up. Yeah, it's good. Okay, next. Uh, a lot of people said tattoos. Ah. So again, he, these are not our words. These are your fighting yes, words. So even uh, a small tattoo can cost you 50 bucks minimum. Anyways, do you have a tattoo, wow. George? No tats for me. Hmm. Not trying to hide a sleeve anywhere up here. Do you got yeah. any? I do. Can you? The people want to know. I got one in college. <laughs> do you regret it? Nope. Is it a butterfly? Because nobody sees it. Is it nobody. a butterfly? Is it a Bible verse? Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Is it even more embarrassing than a butterfly? No. Wait, so do your we're... parents know? Uh, yeah, and dad threatened to pull my tuition. <laughs> Hold up. Dave Ramsey threatened to pull your tuition when he found out you got a tag. And it's like this big. This is good content. What's it have? <laughs> so we were, fr uh, we were freshmen. And I will never forget it, y'all. And we, well, I'm just giving you like a quick of the backstory. But, okay. And it was raining. I mean, I remember this. It was raining. And I had like eight of my girlfriends, and we were all like, we're so bored. What do we want to do? And someone's like, let's go get tattoos. And someone's like, we should. And I was like, why was there yeah, alcohol of involved? No, no, completely sober. Sober minded. And I remember I called Denise, my sister. She started crying, begging me not to do oh my it. <laughs> and then she had my cousin call me because. Oh yeah, Denise. Was she started like the prayer she text. Was, like, like she was like, "Y'all, we need to pray out. for Rachel." Oh, she's like, "This is the stupidest decision you've ever." I'm like, "Denise, chill. We're just bored. Like, we're just gonna we're get just tattoos. Bored. We're just gonna get tattoos." So yeah, I got. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's one of those like. <laughs> uh, no, it's like one of those like little Jesus fish. The. <laughs> <laughs> wow. the, the, the thing that does this, you very know, very tasteful, mean? very minimalist. It's like, it's like it. that big. I, I I knew at eighteen, you might regret when it's this raining, later. and this is what we decide to do for. What does the activity? rain have to do with this? <laughs> so you're bringing up the rain as if like, know. well, you know, it was raining, so we had to get tattoos. <laughs> I know. I don't remember. I just yeah. I think we're just bored. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, next one is new cars. Speaking of expensive. Yeah, Goodness this is gracious. silly. This I is do silly. think this is a ridiculous purchase for some. So we caveat. always say if you have a net worth of a million dollars, then you can take the financial hit of buying a new car. Because when you buy a new car and drive it off the lot and it's now considered used, it loses what, like 20? Six, it's, it's 16, yeah. 20? It immediately loses like 10 or 15%. Yep. Yeah. And then Just over like five that. years, it loses 60% of its value. Yes. So it's a depreciating asset. Which means if you buy a five-year-old car, you're getting a 60% discount. Think about it that oh, way. Oh, well done, George. Think Love the math that. game. In so, yeah, new cars, I am not a fan of that unless you're paying cash, number one, and you've got that net worth to back That's it right. up. Okay, the next one is so funny. Getting garbage cans professionally cleaned. I've I didn't got the advertising for this Stop in my it. mailbox. I didn't know this. Apparently, 
It can cost up to $35 a month to have someone come and clean your trash cans? Yep. <gasps> it's a trash can. It's a good, It's going to get dirty like the following week. That's funny. So I don't it. think it's worth it because here's the thing. I looked into getting a new trash can when we moved into our house Yeah. because we had the old owner's trash can. Oh, yeah. And it was like 70 bucks. I was like, I can just get a new trash can anytime I want for 70 bucks. <laughs> Totally. I'll just do that. Why get it clean? Uh, okay. Next is grass, lawn care, landscaping. People think that this was really ridiculous. I I don't know. It, 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 we spend money on it, so I don't know. Beautification. Some HOAs require it. Like, I don't – if we just didn't do anything and just let everything get overgrown. Oh, sure. Yeah, get you'll fun. get hit with the fee. So, yeah, this one, uh, people spend a lot of money on it. Some people are just like, well, just mow it yourself and do the landscaping yourself. Yeah. I don't have the green thumb. I don't have the time. I'm just going to pay someone to do it. Yep, yep. But it will save you a lot of money if you 100%. cut it out. Uh, oh, this hurts my heart a little bit. Taylor Swift tickets. Shots fired a at lot Rachel. Of, a lot of people said, and my team, ladies back there, uh, and Lindsay. What did yeah, you say? Lindsay. You went to I went Swift. To it. I know. Oh, I thought you were saying they're we were saying it's ridiculously it. priced. They are against it. They're 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 mad at the price of it. She's so good. I'm not mad at the Y'all, original it was, price. It was, I'm mad at what people were willing to pay for second market. I know secondhand tickets. I know. I know. Another ridiculous thing that the listener said is insane to spend money on long term storage. That's what I can get on board with. I'm a fan of that hot take. It is so people that own those storage companies. They make so much money because oh, yeah. we all have so much crap and people pay hundreds of dollars a month sometimes to put their crap in just a storage Just to store unit. the crap just in case we need the crap. Yep. Get it out of here. One day we'll use the crap. It feels like Maybe a Seinfeld not. bit. It's a lot. Okay. Next is saunas. Oh. I don't know. I hear an infrared sauna is wonderful. It is. I know. That's what I've heard. I wouldn't say this is a waste of money. I, mean, I don't think it is. That's like saying going to the gym is a waste of money. Yeah. You know, I think it, there's a lot of health benefits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not mad at the old sauna. But you can also buy them fairly cheap. There's kind of like gangster versions you can get on Amazon for your house that are just like, you're like zipped up in this little weird container. Okay. <laughs> it looks sense. like very claustrophobic, but if that's you, you do you, boo-boo. You do you. Uh, next is, oh no, this hurts a little bit. Golden Goose shoes and distressed jeans. People are very heated about the designer shoes that, that come dirty. That was a personal attack at you. And jeans that are already torn. Okay, I have a one pair. I have one pair of Golden Gooses and I wear them all the time. And they're worth I actually it. wore them to the Taylor Swift concert. Thank you very much. Wow. I wear them all the time. They're com they're comfortable. I mean, they're not like my on cloud one, right? Like, I mean, there's some tennis shoes that are obviously sure. extremely comfortable, but- I don't know. Okay. Worth I did. It. I bought them for my birthday. It was a birthday gift for herself, guys. Myself. Have some respect. Are you mad at those kind of shoes? Uh, I'm not mad about it, but if my, I'll say this, if Whitney was like, hey, I want to buy these sneakers, I'd be like, how much are they? And she was like, $500. I'd be like, mm-mm, nope, we're going to not do that. <laughs> so it would hurt my heart, but again, I'm not mad at someone else who bought them. Okay. But if it was my personal money, it would hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's fair. But you rock it. That's fair. You go, girl. I did. Uh, this is the one we mentioned at the top of the show. Eyelash care. I didn't know you had to care for your eyelashes. Yes. Here's my thing about beauty, personally, okay? Beauty is pain. That's what I always say. <laughs> is it, George? No, is it my, personally. If I have stuff done, I'm like, I don't want you to even know about it. So oh. do I occasionally get like 10 units here and here and here? Maybe. Very minimal. But every now and then, Yes. Uh, so again, any, I, I tint my eyebrows. I've gotten the, what's the natural what's color? What's the, um, no, they're, it's, they just make them thicker. What's it called? Oh. Microblading. Uh, oh yes. Like I've done that yep. because you wouldn't really know. Like I do things that like you wouldn't notice. So like an eyelash extension, you would notice me. <laughs> notice <laughs> me. From here. Again, they're not bad, but do okay. you know what I'm saying? Or like people that get like lip injections. I'm not mad at you for that, but you can tell. Oh, she's we can tell. Had, yeah, we can tell. And we can tell when we have filler here. We can tell, which is fine. Yeah, we've seen the cast of Friends. We know what it looks like. Sweet Courtney. Love her. Love her, but... Sorry. She regretted it, too. She regretted all her face stuff. So I just am more like, I would rather go the net, like, where you can't really tell. And it's like, does she? We're not sure. Right? Okay. I agree. Natural. Okay, we're getting off track well, here, Well, we, uh, <laughs> let's go from judgmental to helpful, Rachel. What can we learn from all of this? Uh, let's land the plane. I know. Is Listen, it's your money. We say it. Personal finance is personal. So if you're at a position where you have the spare cash and the margin 
to be able to go and lift your truck, get your sure. eyelashes. You go. You know what it comes down to for me? It's number one, paying cash and not going into debt for yes, something. Yes, yes. Not doing it when you're broke. But then also the big thing for me is motive. Are you doing it because it's mm. uniquely like this is my values, my personality, I want to express it? Or is it I want someone to like me, I want to fit in, I want yes. to impress? Yep. That's where when it turns into a flex, it's very unhealthy to me. I think that's very fair. That's very fair. Yeah. The question I always ask is if nobody sees this purchase, do I still want it? That's a great question to ask. And I think that shows motive. I think that's Absolutely. great, George, because there is something to say about there's a level of materialism that's like, if I have this thing or this is part of me, I'm going to be happier. And that you're stuck. You're not going to yeah. be fulfilled when that's your motive. You're just not. More so. stuff won't make you more complete. I think the minimalist yes. said that. It's I a good believe quote. that. Yes. But another piece of this is if you're not willing to save up for it and pay cash, you don't really want it that badly. If you're willing to just go into debt and just go, well, put her on the card and worry about it later. Yep. It's a bad, bad move. That's right. So one thing we always say is, it's okay to have nice stuff. Just don't let your nice stuff have you. And that identity piece, George, I think is a lot of what you're talking about with the motive yeah. and everything. And when there's so, payments, it has you. Oh, gosh. So yeah, it's, yeah, it has you through debt. The borrower is slave to the lender. It re that item really does own you at that point. And then, uh, yeah, your identity, that piece. So That's good. So how do we avoid all of this? How do we do it the right way? Yes. Well, one of the big things, if it's a large purchase, is we love a good sinking fund. Don't we love charge? a sinking fund. Yeah. So just save up a little bit every month. And then when when it's there, so it's five hundred it. bucks. Save a hundred bucks for five months. Now we can pay and for it in good. cash with That's no right. regrets. Or with no regrets. <laughs> I know you'd love that. So good. Thanks for bringing that one back. Uh that I'd say budgeting too will help with the sinking fund, but also just knowing where your money's going. Yes. We both use every dollar. Well, love and like you dollar. say, it's permission to spend. And so I find budgeting is yes. the best tool for me to never feel like, oh, should I have done that? It was planned it's for all in the budget. There. You get a manicure and you have a manicure line item for self-care or whatever. You yep. do that with no regret. You don't go, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yes. You go, great. I planned for that. I was Do you know what we put in our uh, budget last month, George, and then another one this month? Two purchases you'll appreciate. One, Winston put it in the budget for last month, a coffee grinder. Man after my own so, heart. Was it a conical burr grinder? I don't know. Ask him. Was it a barazza? I don't know. Okay. But it was in the budget. It was literally a line item. Said for coffee it. grinder. Uh-huh. And then you know what's in our line item this month? Something I wanted. We're going to buy it for the Not summer. Not coffee related. A pizza <gasps> maker. Oven. Thing. Wait, is it like the uni? Joe Levitt. Yes, Joe Levitt. A guy we work with yes. has one. So I texted him this weekend and I was like, Joe, what kind of pizza oven do you have? So that's in the budget. So all that to say, I'm like, I don't feel bad buying this pizza oven because we adjusted everything else. When it's in the budget, it's not impulsive anymore. That's right. I know. It just becomes a plan. It is. But it may have my identity, George. Well said. And Rachel, because we run this podcast, we talk about every dollar all the time. I was like, let's get a promo just for the Smart Money Happy Hour listeners to go check it out. And the code should be Smart Money. You're brilliant. So right now, if you use promo code Smart Money at everydollar.com, you can get a two-week free trial and 15 bucks off the annual premium version, which... A lot of the features we talk about, bank connectivity, paycheck planning, financial roadmaps, all part of the premium version. So, so great. go check it out. And it's it's free to download. You don't have to do any of that. Nothing to lose. We just want you guys to have a plan for your money. Love it. And it'll help you, if you buy ridiculous things, to justify it because you have the money. That's true. And that's what you can so do. So we'll drop a link to the show notes if you want to check that out. Love it. All right, George. So it's almost the end of the episode. And we end every episode with... Guilty, guilty as, as charged. charged. This is where our producer, Lindsay, gives us a new guilty as charged question every week. And this week, Lindsay, what is it? All right. Have you ever entered a giveaway and won? Ooh, that's fun. Ooh. Uh, a giveaway. Like a Does that count like a radio contest or something? Yeah. Oh, man. Any giveaway weird. or contest. Okay. I don't know if I I'm big have. or small. I'm the king of free stuff. So I just wanted to give Rachel a oh chance. Oh my gosh. I got nothing, George. I love give us a everything. Get, get. Uh, John Mayer tickets from a radio contest where I called in. No way. That was awesome. That is awesome. Whitney Houston concert tickets. Here's the caveat I submitted, you had to submit a YouTube cover. I submitted R Rihanna's Umbrella, an acoustic version that I did. I don't know if you had to submit a version of Umbrella to win. That feels very specific and weird. For and a I Whitney won this Houston contest. concert. Yeah. So I won this contest, and then I was like, I'll just sell the tickets. And I got a meal in the North End in Boston, an Italian meal with a coworker, because I was like, I don't... Oh, my god. And now I regret it. I'm like, I could have seen Whitney yes. Houston. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, that's unbelievable. That's what a sad wow. life. A lot of regret. <laughs> I know. <Lots> of regret. <laughs> 
Uh, a lot of regrets I've talked there. on the show about how I won a free wedding. That was big. That yep. was a giveaway, technically. Yep. yep. So I love free Dang, stuff. Dang, George won this one. Well, it's people like Rachel who go like, you're never going to win. Why even <laughs> enter? And I'm like, uh, one less person to fight for the win. Because we all should get cameras and video ourselves playing Umbrella to a Rachel, guitar and upload Rachel. to the internet. Who has time for that? George. The time. video was already recorded, Rachel. It was already on YouTube. And it. I will say it had like 180,000 views. <laughs> It's a very popular cover back in 2008 <laughs> or seven. Yeah. Yes, and more stuff, but I think giveaways are one of the most awesome things and everyone should enter. Good Unless it's George. like the lottery. Don't play the lottery. But if it's a fun giveaway for something that you might like. Why not? And it doesn't cost you money. Another caveat. Yep. Go for it. You That's never great. know what could happen. Oh, well, George, you're guilty. Go. Go for it. Finish that Last off. Last sip. Finish that off. Good times. All, All right. right. Well, make sure if you guys have a guilty as charged question for us, make sure to DM us because we will use them. On the show. You never know. All right. So uh, I think we both finished our drink. It was delicious. The Bee's Knees. So what is it? Uh, Give us the breakdown, George. Bee's Knees has dry gin, lemon juice, some orange juice, honey syrup, and a twist of lemon. That's what this is called, Rachel. The fruit carving. Not a fruit carving, (laughs) but a twist. (laughs) But I love fruit carving. I'm here for it. I love a great fruit carving. It costs $2.88. Okay. You can't beat that going out, Not so just terrible. make it at home. Yeah, get you a Pretty little. Pretty great. I'm going to give this a ten out of ten. I may say the same. I think I it was delicious. It was light, bad easy. to say about it for a very judgmental episode. I have no judgment. And for gin this drink. is kind of growing on me. I'll say that. Nice. Is it the the juniper? Or are you uh, yeah. acclimating to the taste? I think I am. I think I enjoy a good gin cocktail. The herbal uh, nature of it. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, so again, you guys will have the recipe in the show notes, and it's almost closing time, George. Sad day. So if you don't want to miss a future episode of Smart Money Happy Hour, make sure to subscribe. And if you will, please leave us a review. We appreciate it greatly. The higher ups in life appreciate how many reviews we get. We have good we people. Do get we, a lot y'all of reviews. are great to us. So you make us look We got good. a lot of shows on Ramsey <laughs> Network. Ours is one of the highest reviewed with the most reviews. I know. So let's keep that going. Thank you. We get all the brownies. It means points. a lot. It really does. And it helps with the algorithm for people to find the show. So uh, well, George, it's been fun. Good times. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and listening. And join us next time on a brand new episode of Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Hour.